Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a number of TIFF files. Um, in my case, they're just some um, simple smiley faces or sad faces, um, but these could be quite easily be scanned documents that have come in from another system. Um, it doesn't just have to be scanned images, it can be any document type that you want. And basically what we want to do is put these into Vault, but take the properties that were assigned in the legacy data management solution um, and have these properties assigned to the same files inside of Autodesk Vault. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these TIFF documents and I'm just going to place them inside of my working folder of my Vault. So I've then got these five TIFF files. Let's go into Vault Professional and what I want to do here is add these files into the Vault. So I'll just log in to my Vault and let's go to the folder so I've got the prop test folder already already then vault with nothing in that so I'm just going to say that I want to add these files now before I do add these files if I just go and have a look in my categories we can see that I've got an image images category here and that image category has a rule set of any file that contains .tiff, but again you could quite easily add JPEGs or bitmaps or any other type of image file within here. Any file name that contains .tiff will automatically be assigned the image category. I've also set some properties up in here. I've, I've kind of preempted what I wanted to do. And you must do this for the um, for the bulk processor utility to actually work. You need to have the properties that you want to import already assigned inside of uh, inside of Vault the bulk property or the bulk import tool won't create the properties if they don't exist. So what I've done here, I've just used the same property name that we have in um, in our legacy system. So I've got TIFF author, TIFF location, TIFF number, TIFF origin, TIFF rev and TIFF state. You'll notice that there is one for the rev which is revision and also the state. Again the bulk import tool um, won't bring in properties that are system properties. So things like revision and state that are already defined within Vault, um, we can't bring those properties in using this utility, so we're just setting another property to hold those values. So now that we've got our properties and we've got our categories, I can just say that I want to add these files. There's those five files that I want. I'll open these, add my comment, add it to Vault, and say OK. And there we can see that the category has been assigned, we've got the file name who it was created by, when it was created in the last comment and again you can see that I've already set the the columns in here ready for uh, ready for the properties and we can see that none of the properties have come in at the minute because the properties they're not assigned to the files, they're not actually inside of the TIFF file they're the metadata that was assigned within the legacy data management solution so with that in mind what I've actually got here is this CSV file and if I open up this CSV file we can see that we've got the properties that were just exported out in a CSV file format from the legacy system. Left hand side here we've got the name. So I've got the name of each of the files that I want to set the, the values for. And then I've also got the properties, so TIFF author, TIFF location, TIFF number, TIFF origin. I've got description in there as well, which is the same as we've got within Vault. TIFF rev and TIFF state and then the values for each of these. The first row within the CSV file sets the properties that we're, that we're uh, modifying or that we're updating. And then the left hand side here, this is our list of file names. Now this CSV file needs to be stored within the correct folder. So I'm going to cut this and using Windows Explorer, we need to store this in the same folder that the bulk processor utility is stored. So I'm going to go to my C drive. Program Files, Autodesk Consulting, Bulk Processor 2011, Tools. And there you'll see we've got an executable import file properties.exe. So I'm just going to paste that CSV file within. And now all I need to do is using my DOS command prompt, I'm going to navigate to that folder where that executable is. We need to be within that executable. So I'm going to go CD program files x86 now I'm using the x86 because I'm on a um, I'm on a Windows 
uh, Windows 7x64 system. If I can get the syntax right, so cd backslash program files x86 and then cd autodesk consulting. This takes me back using all DOS prompts. Bulk processor 2011 and then cd tools. Okay, so now that we've got that, now all I need to specify is the actual syntax to run the job. So I'm going to type in import file properties as all one word, and then we've got to set some some switches. So the first switch is um, the server that we're working on. So I'm going to do dash dash s for the server, and in my case it's localhost. Next we do dash db for the database. And if it's just a single name, so you could just if it's just called Vault, you don't need to put it in quotes. But if there's a space in it, as mine is engineering space data, then you need to make sure that you place it in quotes. Next, we do a dash u for the user, which in my case is just me, Steve. Then dash p for the password. I've not got a password in this case, so I'm just going to do double quotes. And then finally, I just do the name of the CSV file that we want to import. So I'm just going to tag on to the end of that import CSV file. So we just run through that again. We've got import file properties as all one word which relates to the executable that we want to run. Dash s which is the server name localhost. Dash db which is the vault name which in my case is engineering data and because there's a space I'm putting it in quotes. If it's not if it doesn't have a space it's all one word then you don't need the quotes. Then dash u for the username. In my case it's Steve. Um, then dash p for the password, I have no password so it's just a double quotes and then import.csv and then all we do is we just hit enter and then it processes the file and it's found there that there's not a unique file with uh, with one with sb00194.tiff um, but we can see that on the others it's imported the properties um, seven of them so let's just run, go back to vault let's just refresh what we've got here and we can see that all of those files have now been all, all of those properties have now been imported now the reason that it came up with that file see that sb00194.tiff is because I actually did this on purpose so that if I look in my test folder here I can see that there is actually an existing file called sb00194.tiff so the bulk processor doesn't know which one to process so if you do have duplicate file names within the uh, within the vault then it will error like so but if as long as you're using unique file names then you'll see the success as I've got here where I've got all of those properties quickly imported into vault